Hey guys, this is Heidi Rocky of Rocky's Rad Resources here today to present the very first of our math mini lessons taught directly from my RV from wherever I am to wherever you are we're teaching math. Today we're going to start with episode one, why do we learn math? This is a question I hear often from teachers and students alike and it's vitally important that we don't hear things in our classroom like I'm never going to use this math isn't going to help me it's boring it's hard I hate math or the very worst math scares me math is so important to our lives and so throughout this series I would like to change all of these awful sentences into things like math is used by adults every day because it is it's used every day by me and thousands of other adults around the world math can help make you money and help you keep the money that you've already made math can be fun it's logical I want to start hearing kids say I love math and math is awesome and in order to do that we have to know why we learn math okay we learn math because we use it every day. It's important in things like cooking, things like catching a plane on time and traveling and figuring out the distance that we've traveled, why we've traveled it and how far we've traveled and how long it's going to take to, to get there. It's important in planning a birthday party. In order to plan a birthday party there's so much math that's being used, figuring out how long, figuring out how many balloons you need and how many paper hats and the amount of food that you need, what your budget is going to be, whether you're going to be able to stay inside that budget. All of those things are math elements that come in to what we're doing here to plan this birthday party. Using graphs all over newspapers and news articles and on the internet you're going to find graphs and statistics about this that and the other and in order to be able to understand those you're going to have to be able to read math and that's a vital part of, of using math is, is reading graphs. So right now I'd like you to go ahead and take your, your sheet, your reference sheet, glue it into your notebook and read down some of these topics, some of these things that are part of using math. We use math every day when we cook, when we shop, when we travel, when we measure, when we sort, we tell time, when you spend money. Every time you go to the grocery store you're you're using lots of different math. When we graph information, when we look at shapes, when we're planning on, on building a building or designing an art piece, that's all math. Okay, down at the bottom we've left a few blanks for you. Go ahead and see what you can fill in. I'll give you a couple of seconds to fill in on your own and then we'll give you some suggestions here as well. One thing that you can put on there is planning and drawing the designs for a building. If you want to be an architect, if you want to be an interior designer, if you want to do any of those types of jobs where you're designing how things are going to look like, whether it's the inside, the outside, or just one room, you're going to use math all in there. Not only measurement, but calculations and fractions. All of those important things are needed in order to design just about anything. And the same goes for designing clothes. All of those fashion designers, they have to know how to measure things perfectly. They have to know about correct proportions, making sure that everything is drawn to scale, so that when it's actually being created, you have that perfect design. You don't have one sleeve 10 inches longer than the other because somebody mismeasured. And any office job, any office job, whether you're working at a school, whether you're working at a bank, whether you're working at a store, especially stores, stores are all about math, whether you're buying things from them or selling things in them, any type of business oriented job, you're going to use math every day, sometimes all day, every day. So if any of these seem like jobs that you might be interested in later in life, learning math is a very important skill to get down and get started on right now. In addition to being important and being something that we need, it's also a fun thing. We use math every time we solve puzzles. All of those critical thinking skills that go into doing a jigsaw puzzle or doing Sudoku or any of those fun things, that's math, that's critical thinking, that's problem solving. It builds our brain, it makes us stronger, it makes us smarter, it allows us to make new connections. I mean, realistically, math was 
the reason behind the design of the pyramids. It couldn't have been designed if all of those blocks weren't perfectly sized, weren't structured completely the way that it needed to be. M math is what gets us from A to B. I don't know about you guys, but I love to travel. I love to be able to jump on a, a train and get to my des next destination or grab an airplane and check out a new city. But I can't do that if I'm worried about this train hitting another train because nobody figured out the elapsed times correctly and there's two trains on the tracks at the same time. Math allows me to travel, allows me to know that I'm going to be safe when I get there, it allows me to tell the person who's coming to pick me up what time they need to be there, all of those fabulous things. The people who design roller coasters, raise your hand if you like roller coasters, I'm a big fan of roller coasters, they have to do really, really precise calculations to make sure that you're going to have enough speed to get you up to the top so that you go all the way around, you don't come riding back when you're not supposed to. Um, all of those fun things, that's math right there. Scientists, chemists, biologists, doctors, anybody who's working in a laboratory or working with patients, they use math regularly. Uh, doctors are one of the people who use the most math as they go ahead and make sure that you have the perfect prescription for what you need and you're not taking too much medicine and getting more sick or not taking enough medicine and not getting over the sickness that you went in for. And it's not just math and science, guys. It's not just, you know, calculations. All of your artists and your musicians use math every day, too. Musicians especially to keep their steady beat, to know how long to hold the beat. That's all fractions. It's piecing it out. Ask any musician, and they will tell you that math is a big part of what they do. All right, guys. That's our lesson for today, so it's time to take a minute and do some reflection. Look in the mirror and think about what you learned and how you can apply this. Go ahead and glue your reflection sheet into your notebook. And then after you do that, choose which way you want to think about what you learned. Do you want to write a paragraph? Remember, that's at least five sentences. Tell me how you're, you use math now or how you may use math in the future. You want to create a T-chart make a list of all those things that use math and I challenge you to find five things that really truly don't use math. It's hard. I promise you your don't use math list should be shorter than your use math list. Make a pie chart that tells me where you use math each day and which pieces do you use math in more. Okay? Draw me five pictures of yourself using math. You and your mom, you and your family using math every day. Be sure to label the pictures. Pictures aren't enough I'm going to need some words there, and I don't need high art, stick figures are fine, that's where the labels become important. You can also draw a table that tells me where you see math around you, maybe not necessarily where you, math, where you use math, but where do you see math, where is it important, where do you see other people using math. Take some time, do your reflection, remember reflections take time, they're not instant, and then once you have finished, be sure to look at your reflection evaluation and make sure that you have shown thinking about this week's concept, that you have followed all the guidelines that are being asked of you, and that what you have in your notebook is going to help you next week or the week after when you come back and you want to remember what you learned today. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to come back for more math mini lessons. This is just the first in a long series taught from RIV, our RV, where we are to where you are. Learning happens everywhere. And be sure to click like on our YouTube channel, follow our blog at Rock is Rad Resources, and you can find plenty more where this is coming from. Also, if for some reason you don't have the sheets that I've showcased, in this lesson, the link is in the description and you are more than welcome to go ahead and download them.